found out the uh, lift cylinder on the grain auger has some failed seals a couple days before I wanted to use it. So in case anybody else has this uh, concern, they sent me just the, online, they just sent me this seal here on the piston. They didn't send me a seal kit which would have that internal seal there or the rod seal as well as probably a rod seal up there and I'm going to get a new one of these o-rings too. So that kit is on the top seal kit part number 10-21082 and the whole barrel assembly cylinder assembly is 18035 and this is for a Westfield MK 100 by 71. So I'm hoping they um, can get the parts here. Just had to let the fluid, some fluid drain out. It's kind of heavy, not super heavy, but to get it off the actual auger was a bit of a pain. You had to take all the cables off. It loops around, here's the pattern. It loops around the pulleys three times and then goes all the way up, uh, hooks on the bottom, and then that cable goes all the way up to the top of the auger, 71 feet, to raise up the tripod. So be sure you ask for the seal kit. It does exist, and it's not on their website. It only shows that one part. Even my John Deere dealer had a hard time finding it. I had to call uh, them directly and ask for the second or third person who finally said, oh yeah, we sell a seal kit. Could be because this auger is like 15 years old. It's one of their older models. Oh, the other thing I'm doing, I will show this. There's Carl. I learned there's a shear bolt inside this PTO and uh, the bearings were kind of buggered up and this um, set screw was peened over so I drilled it out a little bit and irrigated it and got rid of all the crud in there and then got rid of all the crud so that the balls would uh, retract on the go on the PTO. So I've been messing around with that and um, I still haven't actually run the PTO on the on the grain auger. So I'm hoping that um, I can get the seal kit, get it put in. It's August 7th. The wheats could go any time now. I got my combine back from deer. It was up there for a month. turn into a show and tell video. So I got the transfer tank put in the new pickup, or new used pickup, new used pickup. Got the 7220 hooked up to the grain auger. Like I said, I haven't been able to run it. Got to get the um, swather out because about half of this wheat has got lamb's quarter and pigweed coming through it so I'm gonna have to swath it and let that stuff dry down before I run it through uh, the pickup head on the combine. Oh there's a combine back over there. Buckwheat's coming up. Maybe I'll, I'll go shoot a little bit of that. So these white flowers here is something that carrot family. APACA I think is the name of that Yarrow, I think it's commonly called Yarrow. It's an APACA family. I'm the guy uh, Crime Pays but Botany Doesn't on YouTube. If you can get over his stick, his persona, the guy is an amazing botanist. He travels around the world. Namibia, New Caledonia, New Zealand, Chile, Dominican Republic. He just looks at cool plants and explains a lot of stuff. But he has this kind of Chicago persona that's a little great. Anyway, so this is the buck with these white flowers here. And there's a few little weeds coming through. We haven't had rain. I think the last time was about 10 days ago. So you kind of look at the leaves, they're a little wilty. This is a tiny patch. There's about three acres that are out there, two and a half acres, where the wet spot was too wet to plant the wheat. And um, well, there's a green auger. 
sounds pretty bad. Hopefully I can get the auger fixed and uh, get up and running and get the rest of the equipment going. See you soon. Bye.